Hey guys, welcome to Flat Top King. Today, it's all about biscuits and gravy. We're putting everything in the pit boss because it's got the lid. You guys stay tuned. All right, you're probably thinking, what does the lid matter? I don't know how much it matters, but I know my camp chef, I don't have the lid option, so we're stuck to using domes. Well, on the pit boss, it's a little bit different. The sucker comes with a lid, right? So we've been testing on the side. What have we been testing? Biscuit pizzas. So now that we've got the lid feature, and I know that we can do biscuits right here on the griddle, now's the time to make the sausage gravy. My all-time favorite plus, don't tell anybody, it's between me and you. I got some hash browns on the side and some country ham and some eggs. Let's go. Just because I know we're gonna need it later, I'm gonna add some of my oil down on my cast iron. Listen, if you're doing this, obviously if you're camping, it could be different. But if you're just coming out to the patio or wherever to cook, don't be afraid to go and preheat your cast iron skillet in your house and just bring it out here. It just helps it preheat a lot faster, okay? I'm just taking a good pound of sausage. We love our Tennessee fried sausage. I'm going to get this all browned up and ground up. Browned up and ground up. Ooh, it worked. It never works. All right, I got my cooling rack here. Now you might be thinking, well, I thought your Pit Boss flat top grill was non-stick. You're not supposed to put metal on non-stick. I'm not moving around. It's just setting on top. Nothing's wrong with it. Same thing with this. We're just setting it on top. That cast iron is not hurting it at all. Now what would hurt it, if you start acting like an iron chef in the middle of a uh, cooking season and you grab your towel and you start shaking it back and forth on the, on the top. That's not what we're doing. If you have to stir something, grab it with a handle so it stays solid and then stir your ingredients inside of it. Personally, I like my sausage a little bit chunky. I'm not worried about getting it too fine. I like the texture of my gravy. So what we're gonna do now is just close the lid, give it a good couple minutes. You're gonna start noticing that your biscuits will start rising. About halfway through, we're gonna flip the biscuits, make our gravy, onto the next stage. All right, you notice how much that we've uh, had these biscuits to rise? See what kind of color we're getting? So we're getting pretty close. So now I'm just gonna rotate them. Some people say you have to, some people say you don't. I don't know, I'm kind of stuck in between. You definitely see the colors changing. So we'll address that when we move the uh, thing around. Notice how this is darker and this is lighter. So I'm just gonna take my cooling rack and just flip it over remember try not to scratch it just like that oh in case you're wondering my wife oh, said oh geez that just splattered me right in the face honey good <laughs> cooking's dangerous you just think it's all fun and glory because you get to eat the best food in the world this is real life cooking show right here live action right here look i put the biscuit on the griddle just to try it out i know some spots are hotter than others but you see how dark that is that's why we use the cooling rack, okay? So now that my gravy's going, or my sauce's going, let's build the gravy. See all that fat that's rendered out? That's I'm what you want. I'm afraid to get too close. Let it hit you again. A couple tablespoons of flour. We like a lot of gravy. I'm gonna show you guys a secret to making the perfect gravy without worry about lumps. Nobody does it, and I don't know why, it drives me nuts. Let your flour cook just for a second. It knocks off that raw edge. I'm gonna add just a little bit more flour. The flour to fat ratio is a little off. I'm gonna add a little bit more here. Show you what it's supposed to look like. There we go. There we go. See how it's not one big clump ball, but yet it's still a hair loose? That's what you want. Okay. This is where people make the mistake. They add cold liquid to a hot pan. Okay. What I like to do is take the pan off the heat, calm it down a little bit. You'll notice your oils will stop bubbling. Just start around to your oils. Calm down a little bit. All right, you see how much calmer the oil has gotten, okay? 
I'm using heavy whipping cream, then I'm gonna add a little bit of 2% milk to it. I just like the thickness, the consistency that it gives. But I'm just gonna show you. See how it's not really bubbling and reacting a lot? That means that once you start adding or stirring it, you really don't have to worry about all the lumps and bubbles. See that? Nice and easy. It just marries right into that flour. And then from here, Remember, your, your uh, gravy will not come to its fullest power, its thickening power, until it comes to a boil. I am not a fan of boiling gravies. I think it breaks it down. See how much thicker it's getting right now? So we're going to come back in here and go ahead and hit it with that 2% milk. Once it gets thick, if you have to add more liquid, you, get, you got to remember, you got to let it come back up to temperature, okay? We're getting close. You just want to make sure it's the consistency you like. We have not seasoned with salt and pepper yet. That's a personal preference, whether you like it extra peppery, salty, what have you. Um, but just know, once your gravy comes off, it will thicken up as well once it starts cooling down. So keep that in mind. All right, I've just taken it off the heat. I just put a ton of cracked pepper in there, come back and salt it. All right, guys, there you go. Biscuits and gravy, super easy. I love the idea of that dome. It just creates a whole different cooking experience. You guys see what I got going on here? Fluffy biscuits. Pile that gravy on as much as you want. Enjoy that Tennessee Pride sausage. Trust me, if you haven't tried it, somebody said they got it from the, like from online or something like that. So you know they're shipping everything. Got my country ham, got my over easy eggs, got my hash browns that we just cooked earlier. Mm. No words. It's just biscuits and gravy, right? Make it the way you like it. Hey, tag us on Facebook. Look us up at The Flat Top King. Look us up at The Griddle Group. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to press that subscribe button, pound the notification button, share with your friends. Biscuits and gravy done.